Good morning, everybody. Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. It is Saturday. It's a beautiful sunny day in Poughkeepsie, New York. Can't wait to get out later on and do a little bit of a walk. Well, I was watching um, Steve Carlson's video the other day, as I sometimes do, and uh, just so jealous of his music collection. Oh my God, that guy's got so much stuff. And um, he was showing um, a Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper album. So I commented to, to, to him that I love Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. I told him I was planning on doing a video on their discography. So that's what I am doing today. I am showing you their discography and talking about their albums, some of my favorite songs. Now, I'm only concentrating on the albums that Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper did together because I know Skid Roper did solo records. I know Mojo did some solo records as well. I've got some of his solo stuff, but I want to just kind of concentrate on what Mojo and Skid did together, okay? So, um, Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper met in San Diego in the early 80s. Um, how would I describe Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper's music? Well, it's crazy. It's out there. It's a little bit of country. Uh, it's a little bit of rock and roll. Um, it's a little bit of rockabilly. It's a little bit of cowpunk. Psychobilly. So it's a little bit of everything. It's like this psycho country thing mixed with rockabilly, mixed with some rock and roll and Captain Beefheart and just craziness um, that only Mojo and Skid can present to us. And it's, it's just awesome stuff. Mojo Nixon does the bulk of the vocals. He plays guitar. Uh, and Skid Roper plays uh, a whole slew of instruments, mostly the washboard, the mandolin, the banjo, maracas, harmonica, tambourine. You get the picture. And Skid also does um, some vocals on some of the albums as well. So, um, if you like rockabilly music, um, if you like The Cramps, um, Captain Beefheart, you know, um, that sort of thing, you would might be into Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. Plus, they bring a humor that um, sometimes <laughs> can rub people the wrong way. And, and that's all I'm going to say. Um, their first album came out in 1985, simply titled Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. I actually have this one on cassette. This came out on the IRS label. Here's what the cassette looks like. And here they are inside. There is Mojo and Skid Roper. It looks a little like Jersey Joe. So this album came out in 1985. This was their first album. Uh, this is most well known for their song, Jesus at McDonald's, which was their first single. Uh, but this CD cassette, or this CD, this cassette also has two tracks that only appeared on the cassette. It's got a song called Ain't Got Nobody and Death Row Blues. So I am not too familiar with this album. Um, I got onto the Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper scene later on in their discography. Um, but this is a really good album. I've started to actually listen to it more. But like I said, uh, the big hit off of here was Jesus at McDonald's. So definitely check that one out. Then, in 1986, they came out with a mini album called Get Out of My Way, and this is what the cover looked like. This happens to be a, a two for a CD, and I'll explain that in a second. But Get Out of My Way um, had such hits, and I know Steve Carlson talked about this song, Stuffin' Martha's Muffin. Yes, Stuffin' Martha's Muffin. It's about the VJ Martha Quinn on MTV. Uh, and it's done only the way that Mojo and Nix, Nixon and Skid Roper can do it. Um, I also love the song Burn Down the Malls. And uh, they do a song called Transylvania Christmas, which is their crazy take on Joy to the World. So 
that's what I like about Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. They're doing all this crazy, you know, psychobilly music, and then they'll throw out like a cover of Joy to the World, and it just comes out of nowhere. And that's what I kind of like about their humor and their style. Um, so that was 1986. And then and also in 1986, they came out with their album Frenzy, and that was the front cover. So this was a twofer on the CD. I've got Frenzy, and I've also got the uh, mini album Get Out of My Way. So Frenzy um, is another great album. I love the song The Amazing Bigfoot Diet. Um, I Hate Banks is awesome. And then they do a version, which I love. They do a version of Iron Butterflies in Agata De Vida. <laughs> and the main riff is played on the harmonica. And Skid Roper is doing the vocals. It's just, it's a funny, crazy rendition of that song. And again, it's just, it's just out there. You weren't, I wouldn't expect to hear that song on this album. You know, they're singing crazy songs, um, you know, like the amazing Bigfoot diet and I hate banks and, you know, Mojo screaming over these crazy arrangements. And then all of a sudden, Inagata De Vida comes out of nowhere, played on the harmonica. So it's just, it's just out there. And that's, that's what I like about it. So um, that was the 1986 album Frenzy. Now, we get into what I feel is the real good stuff. This is when I got into Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. In 1987, they came out with an album called Bodacious. And this was on the Enigma label. I love that Enigma label. And this included the big hit, Elvis is Everywhere, which is an awesome song. Um, if you've never heard that song before, definitely check it out. It's, it's, uh, it's probably their, one of their best songs. Um, I believe it was a, there was a video on MTV, and that was sort of like their 15 minutes. This is a great album. I love this album. This is probably my favorite by Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. You've got the song, Elvis is Everywhere, which was the single which is just preaching their love of Elvis. Um, I Ain't Gonna Piss in No Jar. The Polka Polka, which is awesome. That's literally a polka song sung, sung by Skid Roper. Um, the Story of One Chord, which is funny. Barbecue USA. Wash No Dishes No More. Lincoln Logs, which is an underrated song. It's sung by Skid Roper. It's it's literally a... a a pretty folk song about how he's reminiscing about playing with Lincoln Logs. I really wish Skid Roper sang more songs because he's got a great voice. Uh, he's a talented guy. I think um, it, it uh, would have brought even more diversity to their album. So I might have to check out some of Skid Roper's uh, solo records. Um, and the hit, Don't Want No Foo Foo Haircut on My Head. That's a classic. So this is um, Bodacious, which came out in uh, 1987. This is my favorite album by Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper. And then in 1989, I believe that uh, Steve Carlson showed this one. This is their album, Root Hog or Die. And this came out on the IRS label. I would say that this is probably my second favorite Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper album. What do we have on here? Well, we've got the classic Debbie Gibson is Pregnant with My Two-Headed Love Child. Awesome. 619-239-KING, which is about Elvis again. How, you know, there are Elvis sightings everywhere. They do a version of This Land is Your Land. This is what I'm talking about. Just out of nowhere. Um, let's see what else. I have some notes here. Oh, yeah. Skid Roper does do a couple songs on here. He does a song called um, Tennessee Jive, which is really good. It's really like an old-time rock and roll song with, with vocals by Skid. I love it. And then he does a song called Circus Mystery, which is kind of strange. It's sort of like spoken word over like a rockabilly arrangement. Um, Louisiana Lip Lock is great, uh, Legalize It, Burn Your Money, She's Vibrator Dependent, 
high school football Friday night and uh, Chicken Drop. Chicken Drop is a crazy song. It's about betting and putting down money on when a chicken is going to go to the bathroom. It's just, it's just craziness. But I love this album. It's probably my second favorite album. And then, in 1990, they came out with like a best of or like a greatest hits called Unlimited Everything. And I believe that this was only released in Europe. So this is a UK pressing uh, on Enigma. So this is kind of like a, a greatest hit. So you've got everything on here. You got, uh, you know, Jesus at McDonald's, Stuff and Martha's Muffin, The Amazing Bigfoot Diet, Debbie Gibson is Pregnant with My Two-Headed Love Child. And this also has a couple different songs on it that don't appear on albums. And that's why I got it. You've got a song called Amsterdam Dog Shit Blues, which is an outtake. And then you've also got a song called I Gotta Connect, which was a B-side. So um, there is reason to get this. And plus, I'm kind of like a completist anyways. I kind of like to have everything that a band released. So that's Mojo Nixon. Um, again, they're kind of a mixture of country, rock and roll, psychobilly, cowpunk, rockabilly. Just kind of all thrown in there with a little bit of Captain Beefheart. Um... You know, um, plus you get some polka music, you get some, you know, straight up folk music, um, all different types of instruments by Skid Roper, the washboard, the mandolin, the banjo, uh, percussion instruments like the maracas, the tambourine. Um, Mojo has a vocal quality that's uh, very rough and very in your face, but he's hilarious, um, you know, off color humor. Um, he's just got a great presence and, uh, you know, he's, he's a great funny performer. So there's definitely some comedy in there as well. So if you've never checked out Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper, check them out. And like I said, Mojo came out with some solo records as well. Skid Roper came out with some solo records as well. I might have to pick those up at some point. Um, and again, what I would say is if you are just new to Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper, definitely check out Bodacious because this had their big hit Elvis is Everywhere. And I'd also check out the album uh, Root Hog or Die. I love Debbie Gibson is Pregnant with My Two-Headed Love Child, but I also love the song uh, Lincoln Logs on here. Great song. Uh, two ends of the spectrum with those two songs as well. So listen, enjoy the rest of your day. Drink some coffee. And listen to Mojo Nixon and Skid Roper on cassette. Enjoy, guys.